Hello BG, we are just about to release a new version of the app. So this uh, video will provide you with an overview of the changes and new features coming out in the next few days. We got big plans for this app, so this is just another step in the continuous improvement to make booking golf a lot more efficient and a lot more fun. Uh, I'm just going to go through some of the main features in this release. Uh, I'm not going to go into too much detail, but this will give you a starting point to go from, and then you can uh, feel free to send us your questions, and we can answer them if you have any specific ones as you book your golf. Um, first of all, I just wanted to uh, point out that we moved the Club EG logo to the top left, and you can always click that to go back home. So say you're on a different uh, menu, different page, you just click Club EG and you go back to the home page. Uh, so the personal menus here and the public menus here. Uh, what I'll do is I'll just go through a typical booking and then point out the new features as I run into them. So notice that the book golf button's red here, that just denotes that this is a test version, not the live version. So once we go live, you'll see it back to green again. Book golf. Let's pick a day. Say Tuesday. Let's pick a course. Let's say Castle View. Let's pick the number of EG spots. Four. Now you'll notice here that a timer is starting. Ten minutes. You have ten minutes to book your spots and confirm them. Right now you have four spots allocated to you. And if you complete the process within the 10 minutes, then these four spots are confirmed to you. There's a message from the course, a reminder of the tea time restrictions. Click Agree. Uh, for the purpose of this demo, I am Damien Ryan, my alter ego. So let's invite Darcy. Oh, right off the bat. Okay, so we've added a new option here. Instead of just adding Darcy, I could choose to invite Darcy. Add means that you know he wants to play, and you've had a prior discussion. Invite means you've had no discussion, so you're just going to invite him, and then it's up to Darcy to either accept or decline the invitation. So we'll add Darcy. Um, we'll add Stevie. And we'll invite Julie. Click Submit. Now that uh, confirms that you actually have your four spots and then it's asking you what you want to do next. So if you want to see your group details, click that. Go to this page. Now you'll see some new stuff. Let's start over on the right here. <clears throat> so a reminder, your bookings for Cassidy, Tuesday, October 4th. And we have three sections here. The first is a message section. So everything you do with this booking will be recorded here, all the steps. Even if you want to have a chit chat with your people, you can type in a message and they will see this. And everybody in the booking can also do the same. Um, there's some news here from Cassavy, just the basic information about address and Phone number, tea time restrictions again, any message from the course, and then some news items they may have posted. Over here is your to-do list. So you'll notice over on the left in the middle here, it says one unconfirmed spot, and it reiterates that on the right. So that is because we've invited Julie to play golf. You can see Julie, but she hasn't confirmed yet, so there's one unconfirmed spot. If you want to invite other people, that's fine as well. So let's invite Jamie Ryan. And you'll notice that there's now two invitations, but for one spot. So now we're in a first come, first serve situation. So Jamie and Julie both will have an email in their inbox, and whoever accepts first will get the spot. 
and the second person, if they accept, they'll get a message saying that the booking is full. You're out of luck. Um, there's some group functions here, like say you wanted to organize uh, two groups. You could, first of all, see if there's any EG spots available. So let's go, let's bring it up to eight, accept. So now you're organizing a booking of eight people. Let's fill this up with Malcolm, because he said he wanted to play, uh, Andy said he wanted to play, because it's such a fun group, and who else? Let's see here. Um, Luigi, who wants to play. So now you'll see you have eight spots, we have two invitations pending, and we have the two spots here. So for this booking to be complete, we need both Jamie and Julie to respond and say, yes, they want to play. Um, you can move around people in groups. So say you wanted to move Darcy to group two, you can move them down to the ungrouped and then move Andy out of group two and then move Darcy back to group two. So there's some group functions built in here. Um, if you want to invite, well, let me show you a new concept we have introduced called My Buddies. So there's a screen here that lets you set up lists of golf buddies. I've set up one called Family, Stevie and Julie. I could add a new list, call it um, Hockey Team. And then we can add a buddy, skip Breton, etc. So this would create a new list. So when you're going back to your bookings, this one was for Castle View. Go back to details. You could you could choose right here to invite the whole hockey team, invite all, and that puts them in here. Save. So now we have three invitations for two spots, first come, first serve. Uh, I think you get the gist of that. A couple other things here. With respect to messaging, it actually has its own um, screen here. So if you click on messages, there's one chat group for each booking. So you'll see those listed here and you can go between them. So as far as just um, organizing your games and communicating with the people in your booking, it's an easy way just to focus on that part. Um, if you do want to go back to the detail screen, just click details and in you go. Also on here we have a new screen called my account which is similar to what we currently have but it's broken down by week. So for the week ending October 2nd these are all my rounds. And if you have un if you're the organizer and you have unconfirmed spots, you're on the hook for those, so you'll see the charge for that as well. Which brings up another point. If we go back to our booking at Castle View. You'll see in the to-do screen that there's this box here, auto cancel unconfirmed BG spots. So at noon the day before golf, if these spots are still unconfirmed, the system will auto-cancel them for you so you don't get charged for them. If you do want to keep them and you're confident you can find people to fill them with, then you would uncheck that box. But if these go unclaimed, then the organizer, which is you, is on the hook for these spots. I think that's about all we'll cover today. Uh, yeah, one more thing. There was a, an issue with dark mode in the current version, so we've addressed that. So when this new version comes out, that won't be an issue anymore. Um, we're hoping to release this in the next couple of days, so stay tuned to your email for updates on that. Other than that, 
think we're done. Uh, enjoy some fall golf, and I will talk to you soon.